<laughs> yeah. So here's the kind of uh, anal the uh, progression of my can crusher. It started out as a kind of a concept idea, and you can see I fabbed it up out of some hockey pucks and some wood and a flashlight and an old propane bottle. There's a little CO2 bottle that's with it, and I mostly did it for size and see uh, see what kind of size and dimensions I would need because I was concerned about where it was going to be mounted and what I was going to do with it. Eventually I got the uh, two and a half inch uh, bore, six inch long stroke pneumatic cylinder in. Snatched that on uh, eBay for 50 bucks or so. And then uh, don't crush your fingers in it because uh, it hurts. There you can see I'm trying out different size nuts and I've made a, a, a wooden frame for that. Once I got the frame designed, I came up with some plans, and I sent those plans off to a uh, gentleman on eBay, and he cut those pieces of steel, like 40 bucks is a really very good deal. And then I was able to kind of get it fabbed up, and there you can see a progression coming. And once I kind of knew what my uh, sizes and dimensions were, it was uh, time for me to think a little bit about uh, welding. I got my first welder a while ago. I needed to get a little bit of practice uh, doing some welding. So I welded a bunch of uh, scrap metal together as, as practice. Just got some angle iron, practice laying down some beads. Kind of numbered and kept track of my uh, different little welding examples. And uh, I got much better as, uh, as, as time went on. My initial uh, welds were very, very sloppy. You can see they're um, getting a little bit better as the numbers get higher. And then uh, went through a whole bunch of sample pieces, and I finally got to the point where I could lay down a uh, uh, fairly decent bead. <clears throat> I took apart a uh, CO2 regulator, a portable uh, air regulator, because I thought about making this portable just for giggles. And uh, found a couple of ways to, uh, to, to run it. I did a little bit of grinding and sanding on the metal before I uh, got it all welded up. Uh, no point in getting it welded and then realize I need a little bit nicer finish on it. There you can see I'm getting some of these grind, some of the cut marks out of that. And then there you go, the polish is up nicely. We've got it nice and threaded there. A little bit of clamping to make sure it all lines up straight. I was confused on how to get it all lined up straight until I realized the best way to do it was to have that piston extended. There we've got some spot welds on it, kind of a proof of concept. Is it going to work and hold? And Got my welds laid down and got them got them grinded fairly nicely. I got decent penetration on most of my welds. There's a weld that's been grinded there and a weld that still needs to be done. Those uh, holes I've actually elongated. They're slots, so now that can just hang on the wall. Getting the uh, plumbing worked out. I thought about going with a flexible hose, but I was able to uh, to use that solid brass line or copper line rather, and that worked out uh, quite nicely for me. There it is mounted above my trash can next to my workbench. That's going to be its, uh, it's going to be its somewhat permanent home. Of course, uh, as you've seen, it can be, uh, it can be run off of a CO2 can or used on the bench or left mounted on the wall. So it was a really fun project. Uh, it took me a couple of months from beginning to end to get this sucker knocked out. I hope you like. Yeah.